All right. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Two Besties on a Couch. And not that motherfucking kind of couch. Yeah, yeah. And I am Sulan. Hey, I'm Fox. And today is a great day. It is. It's hot as fuck outside. But... <laughs> I was literally going to say, that's why I look like this. I had my hair in a claw clip because I said it is too hot to try to put on anything else. It is so freaking hot, bro. It took 20 minutes for me to feel the air in my car. Yeah, it did like, take a What while. the fuck? Is this shit broke? Benny gonna talk about... You took it, you got it on? I do got it on. He sweats easily. He go wipe his head. I got it on. I promise we got it on. I had to drop him off. I feel like my left arm is now darker than my right arm. That's insane. It's, yeah. It's, Can y'all see that? I feel like it really is. I kind of see it a little bit. It That's like so it. sad, bro. One hour drive over here. Hour, 30 minutes. That is crazy. Today, y'all, we have, we're going to take some shots. Of our sponsor, Shadow. Shadow. Hey. Shadow, mm-hmm. we on that Shadow, we on that Shadow. Sha-do. If you ain't oh, got it, we so gonna sorry. hit the dough. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, we love us some Shadow. We're just gonna take it straight. Um, we we have yet to open up our Blanco, and if you've been following us, watch our past episodes and seen us, <clears throat> Shadow, Mister Shadow himself. We need to re up. It's hard to catch the man, you know. And it's sad, y'all, because we slow key be seeing him. <laughs> Honestly, we see him for two seconds. He be dipping through the party so freaking quick. But he be working. He's always working. So I get it. You know, we met his sister. That was dope. All right, we getting off topic here. Back to the shadow. Let's pour it up. I guess we're going to go ahead and do the... Yeah, um, we'll save like all of our entries. So when... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to that in a little second. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and pour up our um, repo. Rep. You want to do the repo? Yeah, because we already got it open. Yeah, we might as well finish it up. I got it. And then for our chaser, we just drinking a little Trader Joe's. Still got a, that box of that strawberry. Um, What is that? Strawberry rhubarb? Yeah, it's a strawberry yeah. rhubarb little soda, but it's not like a... I don't drink soda, but that one's really good. It low-key tastes like it got a little... For some reason, rhubarb with strawberry tastes like a little bit of like a strawberry banana thing kind of going on. But yeah. And you may see another um, strawberry rhubarb recipe because I really want to play with a cocktail with actual rhubarb. Because I think it's rhubarb season in summer. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, I try to stay in season with all our veggies and fruits. All right. Cheers. Oh, we should do a veggie a drink. We kind of did one with that uh, and it was good. cucumber one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love a nice little fresh juice drink. Oh, I'm scared. I don't know why I'm scared. Okay. That shit good. It was good. Right? It's good. And also, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I see y'all watching the video, but I don't see no likes. It's not enough likes to the ratio of the viewers, y'all. I know y'all hear me saying this. I say it twice in the episode. Okay, if you feel ashamed, you should go ahead and press that like right now. Oh shit! All right, um, <sighs> let's see what else is what's on next. Fit details. What you wearing, friend? I'm sorry, I'm still recovering. Okay, never mind. I said that she was good. Take it, it a little slow. It actually hit the back of my throat when it. <laughs> I think it went down the wrong pipe or something. <laughs> um, outfit of today. I brought this outfit in 2021 as our. Not even going to lie to you. And the only reason why I remember the year is because I went to Florida. It's really cute. I Thanks. Love it. Um, but yeah, just shorts, a tank top. It's so fucking hot outside, y'all. I don't... It was too... It's just too fucking hot. There's no other way to describe this weather. It's, <laughs> it's just too fucking hot. And it's crazy. It's like only the beginning of the summer. It's only... Yeah. And I honestly... I was going to put my hair up in a claw clip. I just literally cooled down when I was in here. And y'all almost got claw clip. And it wasn't giving cute at all. It was giving bitches hot outside. <laughs> It's hot and I feel like nine months pregnant. <laughs> I was pregnant in the summer. Ooh, it was hot. Ciao. Zang. What you wearing, friend? It looks really good. Um, this is my friend's brand. Let me get the name. That shit cute. It is cute, right? He I think he said he was inspired by like some of his childhood memories of his dad. Wow, and, that's hard. Yeah. And like he kind of like what's it called? Vision. Even... So I'm gonna add their Instagram on the screen. But yeah, no support. And it's like, has that look reflective? 
thing kind of going on. Honestly, I think it's really cute. And then he also distressed it like by hand too. He has like a lot more stuff dropping. He did too. that I'm by like, his hand. Yeah, he did a lot of stuff. I'm that like, shirt. The, honestly, the stars is fucking hard. Right. On I was like, this is cute as fuck, and it's like his logo, and he has this whole like thing going on. I don't think he has anything on the Instagram page yet, but like I don't know. Go ahead and follow it and just like stay up to date so you can be. And y'all know we put all the it. details. Oh, I'm sorry, we put all the details on the screen too. So if you're listening, yeah. everything is literally everything that we talk about is on the um screen. But if y'all want, I can put it in the description. So leave us a comment and a review. <laughs> That's the only way I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. A positive review. A positive review. Thank like you. It. Thank you. We love you guys. We Even love if you, you have guys. some criticism you want to give, make sure it's nice. Um, and what else am I wearing? These shorts are from um Bodmon or something like that. Mm. They're actually pants. It's actually a really dope brand. Like, so mm. there's like a zipper thing and you can like zip off the legs. FYI, it is not tall girl friendly. Okay. Bodmon is not tall girl friendly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can only wear them as shorts. So sad to say. But if you're, you know, normal height, go ahead and check them out for real. And if you're cool being a tall girl and purchasing a set of pants and just only wearing them as a set of shorts, you know, let's go for it, you know. But no, they're cute. Like, Those are little, fucking fire. Little, detail, little, all these pockets. And I would not be able to tell. I love how they did like the little vines on. Yeah, the pants were really cool looking mm-hmm. too. That's why I honestly, I'm so excited. I love the trend that we're in right now with all the oversized baggy jeans because they be long. Okay, I don't got to order special pants off of ASOS. Like every, I can hit up anywhere and they all got long jeans right now. You know, for my tall girlies, just enjoy this moment right now. I don't know, it, the trend might end soon. We're probably about to be like back to skinny jeans like in two years. So, you know, I really just don't like the skinny look. Have you thought about that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I feel like so. I'm actually really liking the Capri look I love right the now. Capri look too. Um, Renella, oh, what's it called? Renella. She has a brand called Ice Studios. She mm-hmm. drops some sunglasses and she just drops some cold ass Capris too. They're really, really cute and they yeah. say like ice. Her promo for all of that shit is so fucking hard. Uh, to me, exciting. she's like one of the best photographers out too. Like she's yeah. killing shit right now. I love that. So um, she's a photographer and has her mm-hmm. own. I have like OG, she's like an OG Tumblr girl too. If you like really know, you really know like deep off into the archives. Like uh, I always thought she was super gorgeous, yeah. like gorgeous, gorgeous girl on top of being like an amazing artist at that. So, but yeah, shout out to Ranella. I, I hope to meet her one day and like have a little party. You know what I'm saying? We would love to be sponsored and get some of them glasses. They fly as hell. Which oh. is just like $300. <laughs> Don't have to catch me on. You're 20% <laughs> off, baby. Really 50. Really? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Get a deal. <laughs> I'm gonna budget right now, okay? Um, but yeah. So, what else? What have you been up to, my friend? Honestly, I've been we've been busy. We've been working. We had our first club hosting. You guys. Oh my gosh! Yes, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I look out of shit. I'm like, okay. I'm so sorry, y'all. No, for real. It was a I lot usually going have on. a cold body. It is a lot going on. I think I'm trying to calm down, to, like getting on set. Mm-hmm. You know, when your body's a little anxious and you're just like, okay, yeah. breathe. I've been here I think for a long time. I'm talking a lot too. No, that's good. Um, no, um, <laughs> yeah, we did our first club host appearance. Thank you so much, Jordan. Thank you so much yes. to Minerva. We had such a good time. We went out. It was Thursday night. We did an R and B night. Yeah, and it was super fun. It and was. we got a time in there. Like I was not expecting that. Yeah, if you're in Nashville, check out Minerva for their RV Thursdays. Yeah, like I'm. Not, I'm not gonna lie. I. Had, I stopped by Minerva and they like remodeled it recently. Mm-hmm. It was really a vibe and it was a lot of girlies out there. So yeah, go check them out. And check vibe out. Yeah. out. I was singing. Who was DJing? Cash? Yes, Cash. It's so crazy. Yeah, I was having a time. And then me and a friend. I just remember me and friend singing. I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so funny. And um, what did it for me is the old Drake. I'm sorry. Oh, you yeah. know, I feel ashamed to kind of put them on my story songs That's lately. That's crazy. That um, I don't really feel ashamed to be real. I'm just, yeah. like, ah, you know, I, it's crazy. I think about Kendrick every time I think about Drake now. That's crazy. I was. I would have so never imagined that for him. Kind of fucked up. I don't even remember that. Yeah, Fran was throwing ass. Yeah, it's either two me's. There's either two of me. <laughs> it's either throwing the ass like I'm tipsy and I'm throwing ass, or it's me stuck, not stuck. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just looking around. I'm not really doing much. I'm like. Mm. And nothing's really going on. Yeah. But when I'm like really comfortable with my people, which I was, I like to let loose. And I love hosting. Like I love like entertaining like our guests and stuff like that. I truly, truly do love it. And I was just thinking about that when we was out. I was like, wow, I love this. Like 
No, I yeah. want I had more of a this. really yeah. fun ass time, oh, yeah. and we brought our friends, yeah. and everything like that. I just want to make sure they were okay, and like ask them if they want food. Mm-hmm. I'm like, who the fuck? I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, y'all good? Y'all want food? People no, want slushies? Yeah. Like, it was just I just love like being thoughtful. I just want everybody around us to have like a good time. Some shit kind of happened, but. That's yeah. for another place, another time. We'll tell y'all later. And we had a really good, we had really good people pull up on us. And I was so happy about that. that and a really right long there. time friend as well. Even though he didn't ask us what time to pull up. You know, if you watch the show, I don't think he even watches the show. Which watch is honestly show. cool. But mm-hmm. he like created us a tab at the bar. Like, yeah. so we're always was, taking, like, taking care, care of. of so, yeah. yeah. So I was like, and thank you, Jordan. He, you know, just thank you so much. Because it was like, we were taken care of over there. Our other yeah. friend took care of us. And another like... It was just a lot and just the love that I feel like um, we have surrounded by us. And Mm -hmm. like, I just feel really grateful and thankful, even for like we met a guy out and even him, like not kind of everything. A lot of shit was going on, but just still planted in my head of like the constant checkup. Like, Mm -hmm. are y'all everything okay over here? But not knowing in my head what he was doing until like afterwards. But just every spot that we went to, just making sure that we were taken care of, we were okay, and not being creepy or anything, but just like constantly making sure that two besties initially we were just taking care of the whole entire night every single spot that we went to and made sure nobody was like overstepping yes. with this and it was just it, it felt I love good that. i love that i love when people like really show genuine love because we show genuine love to a lot of people and you know just waiting until we really get our like first event going like it's gonna go up. we'll really like push that out but this is like our first like teaser yeah. of it and you know, we popped out and had a good time. time yeah. Like, and it was really, last minute too. Yeah, we were anxious about it a little bit. Yeah, like, we I, was I was like, like, "What am I supposed to say? I hope I don't gotta get on the mic because I don't know. I don't know why I would. Even, I'm like, I'm on a mic right now, but you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's not the same. It's we're here with cameras and Brittany. You and know the, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the crazy thing is, it's like different being in different environments. Yes, we weren't. Let me hold my goddamn card. What am I doing? I'm getting too comfortable. <laughs> Look yeah. like you've been here before. Damn, <laughs> I'm like, what's happening? But um, like. Even, yeah, even with that, I thought we were going to have to, like, say something. I was like, ooh. I would have said something, though, because after a while, like, I was loosening up and stuff. And then meeting mm-hmm. girls in the bathroom and shit. I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah, I, Bram, I looked over. Graham was like, ah, you know. I was like, hey, we got to pass out shots and whatever. Blase, blase. You know, before we got there, I was telling Ty, I'm like, she's like, I'm just nervous or whatever. I'm like, no, nah, really it's going to be good. I was like, we just got to, you know, socialize, network, pass out shots to the girlies. You know what I'm saying? Get them high, throw a little ass. Fran was like, nah, nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even on that, bro. I look over, <laughs> she's gone. I, I, this is the first sign. I, like, we took the first round of shots, you know, we warming up. And then I just see ass being thrown. It may not <laughs> be on beat. You know what I'm saying? She, she, was, she was trying to catch it, though. It was it was clapping. It was clapping for show. But um, ass was being thrown. The next thing you know, like, another round of shot came. And then... Brand was walking around with the bottle, passing out shots. So I know that's fucking right. I'm yeah. so proud of you. I was I'm like, so proud of you and so, breaking out your comfort yeah. zone. But the thing is, it's crazy because it's like, I will be like having so much anxiety before we get somewhere. And I'm like, Ashley, oh my God, I can't do this. Because something already transpired before that even happened. And I already had anxiety because of something that happened. And then something else like Tim calling me. So I was already like anxious as fuck. I'm like, yeah. oh my God. Like, And then people were just texting me over and over again. And I'm just like... I'm feeling overwhelmed. So no, I was like, Tanisha, I was like, I'm feeling overwhelmed. And it's crazy. I sat in the booth like one time and I was up literally. The whole time. Yeah, I was up the whole yeah. time. And it's like, I love, and then it's crazy because once I got into that environment, I forgot how much I love this environment though. Yeah. Like I love hosting and I'm like, that just because you're beautiful, time. like a girl. Yeah. She's like, oh my God, thank you so much. I'm like, two besties. Mm-hmm. She's like, okay. And it's just like, and I was talking to the girls or whatever and it just felt really, really good. It and I was like, good. wow. It was just, it was love being shown and it felt great. Yeah. It felt great. And um, Teddy, I really understand why you turn off your phone. Truly do. It's crazy because I'm like, who are we? You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. I'm like, I, you know what I'm saying? We're just pulling up with our friends to have a good little time. Pop out. That's true. But that's two besties. But yeah. Um, Let's see. Is there anything else yeah, in our catch up? I feel like that's. Because that was a Thursday. Shit, that was. The that week. was a fucking Thursday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The- just going on our Thursday night and then having the nerve to do host a party, then having the nerve to go to an after party. And then getting up for work the next morning is insane. Mm-hmm. It took me two days to recover. Y'all, I'm still low key tired. Okay. Well, <laughs> like, wait, that's crazy. That was our hosting, but we didn't. We went out. We, I didn't know if we mentioned this or not. <laughs> we went out, and it was so fun. But no, I I want to bring this up because I want to bring this up for the women because it was just some 
It was a guy that I've never seen out before. It was like two guys. Um, mm, the sketchy niggas. The sketchies. Yeah. So when we were out or whatever, and we usually know, like the other place that we went to, we usually are, we're familiar with the people and we, you know, yeah. whatever. But really quick, back to the club hosting. I think I was nervous because that club hosting was not our typical crowd that we hang out with. Yeah, definitely. It was a whole new environment for us, low key. Like, we, we never typically stick to stick to like our same like few friend groups or, like who we're familiar with because like why not? There's nothing wrong like not saying we don't go out in other places. One, we don't club. Okay, that's the huge difference. Like we do bars and like low key stuff, like that's events. We Event. go to events, right? So. And even at our last job, people were always just like y'all out. Like again, we don't be outside. You be outside. We be at work, and we're that's working. different. Being behind the bar and like you know popping out a bottle like it's whole different like i'm not even we don't even be drunk so it's just like no yeah and i really want to reiterate that so it may look like we be outside all the time but we really aren't and the that's why i was so nervous because this was totally a different environment than what i'm used to and then like yeah who i'm used to being around so that was just that but it, we had an amazing time and it was a, it was fucking fun as hell so it was a great time um but then we went to another club afterwards well it wasn't even a club but we went to another bar afterwards or whatever where our friends and stuff are yeah, they but, had like a private party there and whatnot mm -hmm. which and was, it was fun dope. yeah it was super fun but it was just one point it was just these sketchy guys it was these sketchy men and um he invited us to go in a section and we didn't go into the section when he told us to mm -hmm. so when we go over there so then we do we finally end up he waved coming us over. over it wasn't even speaking or nothing it was like a it was very rude and i'm it like who the fuck rude. are you talking like, huh? like we're we in the crowd where hell. everybody we're like who are you talking to and we're talking we're twerking minding our own business yeah and i'm like I'm, we're, I'm, really we're gonna come when we're ready like if i'm gonna come yeah. to, like i'm not i'm not a dog what the fuck exactly and so the sketchy part is like so we go over there when we're ready yeah we'll, it took another girl actually that i think was with them that we kind of knew um i don't know that you know her? Well, yeah. I, I think I modeled with her before. I cannot think of her name right now. She's beautiful. Um, but she was in their section. And I want to say that's how I walked over there and spoke. And we kind of all went in that same little area. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even realize that he was trying to offer some shots. I wasn't paying no damn attention. Honestly, I don't be paying some of these men attention at all. Um, but then I think the girl was trying to pour shots. That's what happened. She gave us glasses. She gave us glasses. And then, and then he like grabbed their bottle or whatever on some weird shit. And like it was just got awkward, and we're like, okay, or whatever. No biggie. Y'all can have these motherfucking glasses back, bitches. We don't ask for shots. We don't. Beg, we don't even drink like that. To be real, like it. Like we love us some shadow on the show, and we like controlled shit. Okay. Um. But yeah, like I want to say he grabbed the bottle, and I was like, I just remember passing the glass back. Oh, it's good. Like you know what I'm saying. And we had another friend that was like, he was like, oh yeah, I kind of know the dude. He's like. He copped the attitude. He's like, yeah, I think he's upset because y'all didn't come over as soon as he told y'all to. Who are you, first of fucking all? You're not my dad. The fuck? Um, but then I want to say, for some reason, I think something, uh, we got past the sympathy shot. But, like, it, the whole thing was suspect because it's like, niggas did it when we were turned our backs and, like, we're no longer talking to them. And it just took too long. And it just seemed really sketchy. Like, I don't know, it was a very bad vibe around what we were holding at that point. And it was like... Just be careful because you, unless you see it being poured, like, don't do that shit. I guess that's what we're trying to get at because, of course, it sounds like common sense. But I feel like when there's a lot of things going on in motion, the music and everything is people everywhere. Like, it's easy to just be like, OK, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Real quick and like throw something back. But like, I don't know. The fact that we all kind of felt that way is wild. And we peeped something. It was just something super off about that group. Yeah. Like, And they were just being kind of aggressive. Like the guy that was like. I'm like, stop touching me. Smack in his hand like you're a child. Stop touching me. Yeah. Men, stop doing that. You don't know women. Stop touching them when we go out fucking. I'm not even about to say what I was. That, mm, I don't even know if I want to talk, but like, that, like, I literally at one point, I thought it was one of y'all messing with me. It was like three or four of us. And mm -hmm. I thought somebody was messing with me. I had like my thong out or whatever. You guys can see the pictures on our page. But like, I, that nigga like popped my thong on me. I was like, what the fuck? I thought it was Drizzy or something. I thought it was you because I mm -hmm. want to say you walked behind me and like that way and i'm like oh like it was tight and i like for some reason i looked to the side i was like Drisana, was that you she was like no and then like I, in the corner of my eye i saw the guy who's like grinning i'm like oh my fucking god like it was just disgusting big had a grill i ain't never seen him before in my life like, and i've never seen him old niggas 
They were like, it was like old niggas looking like some old. It was just weird. And I didn't like it whatsoever. And so that's what, yeah, that's basically the moral story. Then we walked away and then we like all went and we're about to take the, and the girl was cool because she was like, for some reason, he's being weird. Like, y'all didn't come over here, whatever. She was like, he being weird. Like, she was cool, but I just didn't know her. Like I said, from the I didn't know her. But she was cool. And then we walk over and we see our other two, um, friends or whatever and we're talking to them and we just yeah. they wanted to take the shot and honestly none of us took the shot we all put it down yeah i just gave very um sketch and it's just really weird so like just please 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 be careful and i know that we're in this culture right now of like going up and being like can you buy me a shot mm-hmm. and doing all that just make sure you are looking at the person buying a shot even when we went out the first club somebody was like she brought me over a shot she was like this person brought you a shot i didn't take that shot either very yeah. picky about the shots that I'm accepting and seeing if they're being poured. I know we want to have a good time, but don't please do not just take anything and drink anything from everybody. Real, real That's our rock. little, that was just my little spills on that, please. So you want to get into, do you have any catch up? Um, I feel like that was good. Like we can move on. Okay. Um, so yeah, our topic of this episode is. Hmm. I don't want to word this. I don't know. Can I just sort of drop, drop down some notes? Mm-hmm. But are you pro whole culture? Yes. I'm for people's choice, to be honest. I like that. Yeah, whatever you want to do, I'm okay with it. I'm accepting. If that's what you feel and you want to do that, because everybody's built different. So if you mm-hmm. can handle that and you like doing that, then totally go for it. I'm here for it. Men do it all all the time. Yeah, I'm definitely pro ho. You know, yeah. um, and like hoe is so subjective. Like niggas will like people will call you a hoe <laughs> for sleeping with three people. Like yeah, it's people that still ask about body counts out here. <laughs> like huh, I don't understand it. Um, so yeah, that's our topic of today. I'm definitely pro hoe. And then, so have you ever had a hoe face? No, no. Mm-mm. I'm trying to think. Like, what would? Yeah, no. Maybe when I'm 40. I literally just went in my DMs with somebody. We were talking about this. And she was telling me that the dick was always trash. <laughs> she was like, it, it was very short. She said, because the dick was always trash. And then she said, the anxiety you will have the next How did y'all morning. get on this uh, topic? Because I was in my close friends telling them how I wish I was a hoe. I did have a time where in my life, you guys, I really wanted to be a hoe. Like, I was like, I'm missing out. I was like 20. I don't even know what age I was. It doesn't matter. I was younger. And... I just felt like everybody around me was like telling me all these like experiences that they were yeah. having and I never had that. So I was like, damn, like this year is going to be the year I'm going to do it. Like, I really want to be a big hoe. I want to like, I want to run those body counts. Up. I wanted to, to see different sizes, different things, you know, have yeah. some experiences. And then the first hoe that I got, it became my husband. So I said, oh, I'm guess I'm not doing it right. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing and I guess it wasn't right. So, <laughs> yeah, I think it's because it takes too much for me. Mm. I got to have the connection. You know what I'm saying? I just can't. I've never had one. I can't sleep with somebody on one night. Like, I don't know you. Yeah. I have to get to know you, know your life. You need to pick <laughs> me up from my house. I think that's why it gets too deep for every. Like, it's just like, girl, what are you, girl, what are you doing? Yeah. So Do you that's think you, you regret it at all? No, um, because, well, my ex best friend, she used to tell me, she was like, dude, you never go home and you'd be like, damn, I regret not sleeping with him. And she was like, it's so many times where she went home and she was like, I regret sleeping with him. Yeah, that's the thing right there. I don't think, yeah, I've ever felt like, damn, yeah. I wish I would have slept with that nigga. Like, what? Yeah, that's what no. she said. She was like, have you ever, was she even, it's so funny too, because when we had the conversation, it was like a serious conversation. She was like, in your head, have you ever thought about a nigga? And you'd be like, damn, I wish I would have slept with him. And I was like, no. Literally, no. I've never, I didn't know what she was, I've but never. I didn't know what she was getting at. You know, oh, I was she like, just like asked it at a she random? asked that first because yeah. we were talking about it. And I was like, I want to try it or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she was the one that was telling me like, it's OK not to like, it's not for everybody. Yeah, it's definitely not. And I so agree. but at the time, I didn't know. But because everybody else, I felt like everybody that I was talking to, everybody had like a time. And so I was like, yeah, I want to no, have I a time like around that age range. Like, I don't know. Not I don't know if everybody goes through this or not. But I feel like the people that I was around also mm-hmm. were like super experience and this and that so i was like okay let me dabble off and have fun too and um my whole phase for me was <laughs> just like the thing about me is y'all hate dating already as is and i definitely already have had well i'm working on stuff with like attachment and emotional connections anyways i used to say i was cold-hearted but uh, i'm not gonna say i'm not anymore but i'm i don't know who that girl is anymore that's that's what we're gonna say I don't know who that was. Like, I love that growth. Um, but 
yeah, like, no, I was definitely having a time. I didn't even, <laughs> like, it, yeah. you know, like, I had my cousins, their friends was having fun. Like, you know what I'm saying? We was pulling to the so-and-so house, pool, doing some, some mm-hmm. cool, pulling off, going to somewhere else, pool. I was like, wow, okay, cool. I want to live, like, let me, like, stop being so dry. Let me be, stop being, like, boring you know Mm -hmm. and um yeah that's what you know that's how we got you know mr little with extra condom yep you know i had another experience with like these are like people that i've had sex with like literally one time and that was just but never speak because you know it did just didn't count you know yeah like drea whatever hey (laughs) it wasn't slapping and it didn't what what did i say it was somebody that literally just that quiz about her lyrics I'm a little ashamed as a stallion, but... Um, Somebody got mad at her lyrics? No, it was like an interview girl. She was walking around. Um, I don't know if she was in Dallas or Houston or whatever before Megan's show asking mm-hmm. some of the fans like to finish the lyrics. Oh, yeah. If the dick wasn't yeah. slapping, then it ain't happened. Mm-hmm. I think that's right, though. If the dick ain't... Brendan, can you look that up for us? Yeah. If the dick wasn't slapping, then the dick... We got to play that clip now. If like, the dick yeah, wasn't slapping the dick, then it never happened. I don't mm-hmm. fucking know. I don't know. I love Meg. Though. Me too. And I, love I feel Meg. ashamed now that we're exactly. being called out on it. I'm trying to think what else am I okay? Girls in the hood. It never yep. happened if the dick wasn't snapping. Oh, snapping. if the I dick wasn't snapping. Yeah. That makes sense. 30 inch weave it with the long slapping. eyelashes. Hey. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm like, honestly, let me not get on here and tell all my welcome business. But I mean, I feel like other people can relate. Like, it was just one off, you know. It was an experience. And now, like, it just, it didn't, that, that one talking about nothing. It literally never happened, like Meg said, for real. I was just like, ah, uh, yeah. And um, yeah, also, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me trying to, I'm, like, I'm, I'm getting nervous now. I'm like, I don't want to talk no more. What happened? I was still listening. I was waiting on him. I also like had this one experience with a girl. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how I'll be. This is why it just wasn't meant to happen for me. Because I was like, I want to say, that's probably like one of the last times. I was like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> and so she lived far, right? Uh-huh. And she hit me up or whatever. And she's like, you know, we should whatever, link up, let's have fun. Y'all. I, like, drove an hour to her, like, over an hour. It was, like, almost two hours. Something crazy as hell. And I, like, pulled up, whatever. We're supposed to be, like, you know. Yeah, Lincoln. Lincoln. Like, Lincoln. 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 Yeah, like, that's all I you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then, um, why am I so ashamed to do this? I hope my mom does not watch this. She won't. She won't say. I mean, I don't get no support, so it's okay. Um, But, no, yeah, we... We're, I was trying to experiment. And then when I walked in, bro, I saw, I just act like I didn't see it though. There was a photo on the wall in her place. I was like, is that a wedding photo? But I swear, but I don't, I don't know why people be doing this. But I already drove over there, whatever. And we like yeah. talked for like an hour and then we got, we like drank some wine. And then, yeah. Did it happen? It did. Was it good? It was cool. Yeah. It's actually really Did y'all nice. scissor? No. Oh. No, it was just head. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that was funny. the first time. I didn't take it all the way there. <sighs> I want to if I if I'm if I'm gonna do it, I need a scissor. <laughs> I need to see what this is talking about. Cause I like bumping my click on um my <laughs> my clit on shit. So let me bump it on another one. <laughs> and you know what I like to do? <laughs> I talk to you like, bitch, don't ever say that shit. I like to bump to you, I'm like, mm, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. <laughs> I'm like, I know, like, this is fun. This is yeah. fun as hell. Yeah. Except I be getting tired. I'm like, I know y'all be tired. Right now. That's why I don't like doing it from the back. Because I get tired throwing my ass back on them. And I'm, and I'm like, I Dude, don't. they do the majority of the work. That's why I said I like being a pillow princess. That is crazy because the niggas be back there just like this. I'm oh like, God, God damn. damn, in every position. <laughs> like, I got to do something. They just be standing there like waiting. I'm like, nah. oh my God. Yeah. You got to work over here. Um, it's crazy. But yeah, let's move on to the next That's question. That's fun though. I've never done that before, but I always thought of me and another girl, but it has, I always, my, my, one of my fantasies is like sucking dick with another girl. Like on my nigga, of course. It can't yeah. be her nigga, but it's like, bitch, who are you going to be? I, I don't have like to not I, you. You couldn't be my nigga. That's crazy for me. Like, I'm I like, feel like I to. want it to be someone I'm like, you know, I don't, now like, I don't like new sex partners or whatever, mm-hmm. but like, I, I feel like if you're like my man, my man, like, 
that's why I say like I really just discovered like I wasn't deeply in love with some people. But like I feel like if you were really my man, like I, I don't You don't want to share. I don't want nobody touching you. It just depends how big your dick is, because it's sometimes it's so good I want to show another bitch. Cause I'm like, this shit is unbelievable. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> This shit's great. <laughs> so I want you just to know, like, we can have a conversation about it. But I'm like, I was thinking, like, who would the girl be and all this stuff? So it's like, yeah. and then it get too deep because I'm like, I can't do it with a random man because I feel like I don't know you. I don't know him. And now I'm in my feelings because I'm getting hurt. You know, that's mm. why I don't have a whole face because I think that you don't call me back. And I'm supposed to we supposed to know what this is. is a one night stand. And I'm sad because now I don't you didn't call. And it's like, girl, you yeah. know, it wasn't that. So it's like, I know that I can't handle that. That's why I don't do stuff like that because I just. It's not that I like judge anybody for doing. I don't care what you do, but I right. just know I can't handle it. And it's like instead of me going crazy in my mind, mm -hmm. I just prefer not to do it. Yeah, I'm like not ashamed of it, but would I do it again? No, honestly, didn't miss out. On well, nothing. they say that you only when I really it once. miss you. Yeah, you only like I went through it whatever once, and it's crazy because um, they're one of our other favorite pods. They were talking about how um. Dang, I didn't write down the question. I thought I wrote it down. The depression. I watched the episode. Yeah, too. and it was like she was saying, mean, mean having meaningless sex mm -hmm. leads to depression because it's like there's, there's no, there's no emotional, emotional connection, connection and stuff yep. like that. And I feel like, whoops, sorry. For the longest, like I was just doing that, like not mm -hmm. necessarily with like just any and everybody. That's not what my whole phase was. It was like very particular people, but like, yeah, I was. Things I just wanted to try it out. This one man had a fine French accent. We like hung out several times, went out, whatever. We just wouldn't talk about nothing. And then another time, there was this one guy. I swear he was after me for so long, y'all. And I gave it a chance, bitch. I swear he put the condom on and then like he stuck it in and then he took it out and he like got up. And I'm like, oh, it was like maybe something went wrong. But no, he was just like cleaning himself off. He was done. I was like, what the fuck? This shit don't count. <laughs> so I'm like a waste of time. I don't uh, yeah. Like why? Why? It was the conversation after was awkward. I'm like, let me just go home. I'm never telling nobody about this shit. Yeah, I think there's different types though, right? Because I like my face wasn't even fun, y'all. I didn't even get to. I didn't even have a time. good. <laughs> it feels it's crazy. I feel like there's kind of different times because I feel like you're going. You went through the one where you just like you just detach yourself from a person. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? True. It's kind of like little, I do have like I yeah that yeah it's just like whatever you were like a detached. Type of style. And that, like, part of me then, like, I had never been in love before. So it was just like, you know, like, trying to still discover what love feels like, looks like, and all this and that. Like, and then, like, when I met this one guy and I was like, oh, I love him. Like, I actually, like, felt it, like, the true connection. Yeah. And, like, I don't know, I'm very particular. It's just this, I, it's just certain things that I, that I can just sense from a person mm -hmm. that I click with so well. And I don't know what it is. There's nothing like to pinpoint. It's not something that, I, I need to find in every single guy. It's, it's unique to each person, but it's just this particular thing about people being like my man being like, it's something different about each one. And it's like a very, I feel like it's something that nobody else notices about them. And when then I'm say, just like, it's like highly attractive to me. Yeah. When you say your man, you mean like actual boyfriend. Yeah. So the person that you actually do fall in love, love mm -hmm. with though. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of just like, I get what you're saying. Actually, I think that that's what I do, but I just, I just stick with it. I click like whoever I click with, mm -hmm. but then they become my boyfriend. Oh, Does that okay. make sense? Instead of like, even when I'm kind of like dating around, I can already tell by just like the, I think this is why it never happens to me either. Cause I can kind of already tell by that one conversation or at least the second one. That it's, it's not, not going to work. work. And so I just will move on. I'm just like, I can't waste no time. I feel like I was, so I feel like before, before I like fell mm -hmm. in love with this one guy and we had like a really intense relationship. I just didn't know what it was until I met him. And then after we broke up, I wasn't necessarily looking for him and other people, but I knew this feeling that I felt with mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. But then I also felt bad because I was trying to start dating. And then I'm like, I'm not giving people a real chance. So I was like pushing myself to like, mm -hmm. let me just give people a chance. That's why I'd be like, I hate dating. I hate dating. But it's just like, how am I supposed to meet somebody new if I don't try to date? But I just feel like I'm wasting my time. Like, I don't even like the way this conversation is going. Or I always felt like some... People are lying or like, I'm like, you don't know what love is, but maybe I don't know what love is yet either. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Like, I'll get some guys that as soon as they meet me or off a conversation, like, oh, I love you. Like, I know mm -hmm. I'm going to be in love with you. No, you don't. You don't even know me. I feel like I have so many layers to me and it takes, especially if I don't know you, like you're getting very service level, actually. Like, hey, whatever, mm -hmm. fun, bubbly, outer me. But like, deep down, like, I like to have really intense conversations all the mm -hmm. time. And it's just like, 
if I don't feel that with you and we're not leading to that, no. And I don't like to be forced either. I'm not like intentionally like, we're going to talk about this. Like, no, yeah. it just naturally happens and flows because that's yeah. your like an interest and it's like also mine and just piques my mind. So yeah. somebody that picks your brain kind of challenges yeah, you. Definitely. Like that more yeah. so. Yeah, definitely more so that too. Yeah. And then instead of like just being the basics mm -hmm. every single time. And it's like something about like more it's substance. Just a fun, like, I don't know, certain ways to flirt with me that just, I don't know, just you hits get me. it. Yeah. So, more so than the just like how you said the love bombing. Yeah, I don't like love bombing. Yeah, it's like, uh, like what are you doing? I don't like love bombing. Like I just, I, I don't like it. Like, don't, don't like hit me up constantly and call me constantly and try to get at me and then like as soon as I give you a chance or whatever, that's not even love, love bombing. This isn't love bombing. I don't know what this is called. But then you just fall off the face of the earth. Like, mm, what yeah, was the that. point of like trying to chase? Yeah, like, I don't that also happens that either. I don't know. And love bombing with gifts yeah. and like. Every time you're trying to be extravagant, <laughs> like, yeah. like I thank you, but like it scares me. I feel like too yeah. fast, too soon. I'm mm. like, this ain't real. Yeah, I automatically feel like nah, this, this, this is not real. Not. It's so crazy. I feel the opposite. I'm like, send me flowers now. <laughs> send me flowers the second day. Like, why are there no flowers? I was thinking that when me and Ashley got done with our first club appearance, nobody walked up with flowers. I was like, where's the flowers? They're not in the room with this. Clearly, they're not. <laughs> I was shocked. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, I'm that type of girl. Like, yeah. where are flowers? There's where was a congratulation text? Where was that? I don't know. I'll make this to I a wonder, short clip because where was it? Have you feel like your dating life know. has always been like that? Like, or did you grow up like that? Like, you know, your experience since childhood, like you've always been given gifts immediately. Um, or I think so. that that's the way that love happens. Yeah, because my mom was like very big on that. I just kind of remember even my first boyfriend. It was crazy because you said that you said that's what I wanted to get back on that when you were talking about you didn't have it for so long, but then you end up having it, that connection with that one person. The guy that I lost my virginity to, I had that. Mm. I had that connection. He was like buying me flowers. He would just buy me like a lot of stuff or yeah. he was just very affectionate. I think that was my first like ideal of love. Like I feel like that was love. And when I dated him, even little boyfriends that I had, like, that wasn't on shit, we wasn't mm -hmm. doing nothing, they were buying me things, too. Like, they were showing up and, like, Valentine's Day, like, I would get stuff from Valentine's Day. Even in classroom, I would, like, get stuff from little boys on Valentine's Day. So it was, like, it's kind of always been there yeah. that it's going to click that I'm going to like somebody or I'm going to fuck mm -hmm. with you or I'm not going to fuck yeah. with you. It kind of, like, takes me back to our episode, um, mm -hmm. like, soft life versus hyper-independence, mm -hmm. hyper-independent. But if you haven't watched that one, go check that out too. That's like one of our earlier episodes. Mm -hmm. where we kind of touched on this a little bit of like just expectations off of just naturally. I feel like I don't know if it's because it's I don't want to say it's because you've always had it. Mm -hmm. but I don't know what it is. I kind of always felt it. I remember in fifth grade. I think I was in, I was still in kindergarten. I remember one day uh, I got married. Girl, I'm really married. Me and him ain't never got a divorce. <laughs> Richard, shout out to Richard. But I'm being dead ass. Me and Richard, we yeah. would actually get married. He would pick flowers and give me flowers. And we used to have that a whole is ceremony. That's so freaking cute. We had a whole. That's my bro. My cousins. I got my ass whooped in East Park. Whooped because my mom what? found out we were kissing. Because <laughs> when I said we had flower girls, we had the bride. Yeah. I was in that bitch. Wait, what grade married. were you in? Bro, I was in kindergarten. No, that's wild. I was not gonna lie. Because I lived there. I if lived I saw there. my five year old, like, hey, I don't know if I was five, but I was like five, in elementary. Six, I feel like that's like. Seven. Cause and I didn't move out. Kissing is wild. Cause I didn't. I didn't move to Tennessee until I was in sixth grade. So it had to be. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it had to be. It, it was. It was somewhere in that little time frame. But he would pick the flowers and have them ready for me at the yeah. altar. So on my head, even at that young age, I got my ass beat down, boy. Ooh, Lord. Sorry, Brendan. I know that was loud. <laughs> hey, but I still remember the ass whooping, y'all. <laughs> like I'm getting. I'm actually getting scared. <laughs> Let's take a shot for that ass. Whooping, Let's boy. take a shot for that one. But yeah, I got married young. <laughs> recalling and that shit that shit hit the i felt that in the chest yeah i was scared because i still remember the ass whooping exactly where i was on the couch how it <laughs> happened like it still was <laughs> yeah what did they use those tiger teeth yeah like, <laughs> <laughs> i can't even do the sound effect <laughs> i don't even know how i did that that's why i was like, cracking i cannot <laughs> and the way that brenda just still had the camera on me bro is what cracked me up i was like <laughs> I was like, bro, she was like, I had to go watch the episode on YouTube. She was like, that shit had me crying. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if y'all haven't seen episode 14, make sure you watch that one on, uh, go ahead and watch that one on the Was that the YouTube. one that we just had? Mm hmm Yeah, that one's going up right now. That one's going up. Thank y'all for showing so much love, too. <laughs> Cheers to me still being married to my, whenever it was. I'm gonna send him this video. We still sometimes, like, say hey or whatever. <laughs> you and my girl. 
several anniversary gifts. Exactly. <laughs> Y'all had so many boyfriends. When was your Jaylen first boyfriend? Breckenridge. How old were you when you had your first boyfriend? My, I had my first boyfriend in kindergarten. I don't know. I used to date <laughs> Antonio in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was my whole stage. I was out there just dating anybody. <laughs> I swear, I always had a little... I, I, I think like I've always... It's crazy. My mom was a single mom, but I think that I've always wanted love. Mm. I don't know why. Like... Yeah. I didn't see it anywhere, whatever. Like, my mom had her boyfriends or whatever, but I don't know. I just knew that was even it like being movies? that young. Was it movies? Was it TV shows? Like, where do you feel like that? It's crazy, probably, but I've never been a girl that's like, I don't want to say like super boy crazy. I feel like it just came naturally. Yeah. I wasn't out looking for the niggas. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. out like being like, or even when Little Bow Wow and Chris Brown came out, I wasn't like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with them. I've mm. never been that way, but it just kind of like, I don't know. It kind of gradually happened. And I also yeah. think it's because, like, I'm such a friendship base. Like, I love my friends so much. And some of the niggas, I feel like they start getting attracted to that. It's like, wow, she's a good friend. So Aww, that's I'm a dater. So I don't know. I've always kind of been like that. I just love a unit yeah. of me and another person and what that means. So I think that I've just always had that. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think that I am the way that I am. And I think that's probably why I get in my feelings. Like, if you're treating me special, then you don't want to treat me this way anymore. What? Yeah, what's wrong with you? No, right. Why would you do that? Why would you hurt my heart like that? Like, somebody just stood me up on a date, you guys. Like, my heart was so... It wasn't broken, but... Let them tell it. They they saying that didn't happen, but... Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah. I don't have no comment on that one. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Damn, that changed the whole mood of the show. I'm sorry. <laughs> that he stood me up? <laughs> I love me. He did. I just sent them the little video of us talking about it in the clip, how happy I was. Oh, I was like, man. that never happened. I did not stood you up. I was like, okay. Uh, yeah. And I really, I'm like, I don't understand. Um, I, don't care. Back, I forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> Damn. I feel like I was going to make a point after that. I don't know. All I right. My moving on, I guess. Okay. Moving yeah. On. Sorry, y'all. I didn't lose her train of thought. That sad ass depressing um, story. <laughs> Niggas in the comments about to be like, I would never do that to you, Sulan. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a tad bit dramatic, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't text back. <laughs> I ain't being a tad bit dramatic, okay? When I tell a story, if I'm saying something like that, y'all, it's, it's sometimes it... No, we I'm be not on your wrong. line, y'all. We do be on your line. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't, let, me, let me clear that. Let's I'm clarify. Like, I didn't text back, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> we, this is Fox and Sulan show for a reason, okay? We not those nigga shows, yeah. Alternate. Listen, we are the nerd. We, we are, are the not narrators. Us. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, we're just two besties on. Who cares? That is hilarious. Oh Any my God. Good. We even lied about our name. That nigga, <laughs> one nigga said, I'm cracking up. Somebody commented and said, uh, he said, is the, is the couch on the Patreon? How do I get the top? How do I get the couch tier? <laughs> Oh, that nigga was asking a different type of question. Oh, oh no, what he was, was asking. Mean? What does that mean? Oh, that went over my head. Was that sexual? Yeah, it went over your head. Was it sexual? Oh, wow. <laughs> Bridget, what did it mean? The couch in the... Bridget, <laughs> and the he was trying that. to be nasty? Right, I'm not going to speak for him. <laughs> <laughs> was, I didn't that know was, that, that, that was went cold. Through. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> it was a good pickup line? Yeah, that was cold. I didn't get it. I didn't... We I didn't come back to it either. I just laughed. Where are y'all on the couch? I didn't know what that meant. I'm I like, thought he meant because we didn't have an actual couch. I was gonna say when we get a couch, y'all know we're gonna be living different. That's when that's when the sponsors uh, are gonna be rolling he, in, y'all. He might have been been for real, but no, he wasn't. Yeah, Brendan, if Brendan you know caught he it, wasn't. Brendan, he if you caught it, just real. no, he wasn't. Y'all trying to say I'm slower? Though. And that's why we <laughs> no, say you're trying, we're trying to say we couch. are. We say it's not that kind of couch. That is our intro, like not that kind of couch. We got it on shirts. We the say nigga, not honestly, that kind of couch. I'm gonna comment back now. You should. Did you not hear the intro? Two bestes on the couch, but not that kind of couch. Them niggas like this couch. Freaky ass niggas. Stay your ass inside. <laughs> Freaky <laughs> ass niggas. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Any cuckoo, y'all. Do you regret? We already said, do we regret not I having I did not sex? ever. I don't know why. <laughs> that cuts me so bad that Kendrick said that. <laughs> yeah, that is actually funny. It's like, like now, anytime you say freak, you literally think that. 
he called him a freaky ass frog. The one video, the freaky frog. Uh, for the freaky frog is why. Hey, one time we're at the bar, some nigga, some nigga told Tosh she was a freaky frog. Like, why? What did I do? Did you look at the reference to the video? <laughs> Have y'all seen the video? I gotta find freaky the video, bro. You freaky, Niggas be really frog. thinking I'd be out. Well, I do be out here doing freaky ass shit. Still. <laughs> All you need is that. But that one. nigga was really being freaky and weird. Oh wait, I was gonna say, have you ever had a partner? You know how like men say like that thing. Brittany, you could answer this too. Like, have you uh, a nigga can turn a girl out? Do y'all believe that a nigga can turn a girl out? Oh, like into a freak? Yeah, a pro freak. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. It happens. Didn't you just say you don't that think you it's already deep inside of her? The very first dude you was with. Didn't you say that before? No, I'm. I was already a freak before I came to any of my niggas. <laughs> Them niggas was like, okay. I told you that one nigga told me I'm a too fucking freaky, and it wasn't gonna be with him. But when we break up, <laughs> <laughs> whoever I get with, it may be cool because we were just talking about stuff. I didn't even know all the stuff that I like to do. I didn't yeah. even know they had names. Mm. I'm just over here thinking I'm filling out some kinks and shit. Yeah. I didn't know they had actual names. And then when I found horrible decisions, I was like, wow. I'm a freaky ass bitch because I'll do half of this shit. I'm down. And then the nigga that I got married to, he was it's down. It's crazy. That's why I was so blown on one episode. We were talking about levels of freak. I'm like, okay, you know, I thought she was going to say 10. Bitch, I'm like, you including a show where they're pro freaks, like professional freaks. They're they're talking about kinks. What's that one? They the nice. wildest one. I had to turn that show. I had to turn the episode off. The that animal? one girl in New York who oh, was a scat uh, play. That yeah, shit was nasty. Play, uh, I had to turn that off. I said, hey, ma'am, baby. <laughs> the comments said, people are like, y'all didn't lost a follower today. <laughs> they, I'm not going to lie. The scat play is one of the... the scat play That's why I said, sick. I guess I'm not that fucking freaky. That's sick. That's why I say that, because that she shit was is nasty. She was all the different stuff she had to eat before, and then, and then ways to get different textures. Bitch, what is wrong with people? And that's what I'm saying. People will send their farts in a, in a glass jar. That's why oh that girl... Oh my God, I seen a podcast. There was a girl talking about how niggas pay for farts. And she, one of the girls ended up in the hospital. Because she was saving the farts. Girl, she fucking she clogged so, her shit up. She clogged Boy, it up so she can push out the, hurt like a so bitch. she can push out the orders. <laughs> Sent her ass into a hospital at 23. <laughs> 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 she can't do that shit no more. <laughs> she's weird. Fantasy, bitch. You going to the hospital. What's wrong with you, that shit's weird. That's why I say that's why, And that's freaky shit. I'm like, I'm that not nowhere. Shit. See, that's what I'm saying. And then it was like one, I would never forget. It's called Stomp <laughs> or something. Bitch, it's where you, and it's nasty and it's sick. What like, is Stomp? Mind. It's where you step on, like, sometimes you, like, step on animals. They'll be in, like, a sleeping bag, like, or something. Huh? Yeah, and you stump on the animals. And people like the, the, the crush of their, the little animals, their bones sound, and they like it between their toes. That's why I say some freaky weird shit. And the girl on the pod was saying she doesn't answer to those oh requests. Oh, my gosh. But I didn't even know that was a thing. That's why that I say I'm not insane. that fucking freaky. And that's why I say that. And some Bitches people like knife play. They like to get cut. I, I, I don't seen like that blood. too. Yeah. Well, you could put something on me, but don't. Over here. Yeah, I'm not doing a ritual. I'm playing not. No yeah. fucking rituals. I'm actually stop fucking on my period. Don't I heard fuck that's on actually, your period. Yeah, don't do that no more. Don't. If you did, I, if we all fell victim to it. Don't. Yeah. Maybe y'all haven't. I'm over here saying that like y'all haven't. Let's you not say that. Let's not scare the people. I don't know. Do your thing, you know? What'd you say? Yeah. Do, yeah, put your towel down if you like. But yeah, not so. Me those times where you're like, get the towel, get the towel. I get the towel sometimes anyway because I be squirting. So I'm I like, get honestly, the towel, get I the towel. I never liked having sex on my period. I just feel like I, I didn't even enjoy it. It just, I, it, I get so horny on my period. Wetness, I do be horny, mm-hmm. but I'm like, once it goes in, I don't like the feeling of like, I just don't like do the feeling. Feel it's like the, what's it called? The velocity or something, whatever the, yeah. the, the period blood and, it's just, eh, and sometimes when you're clotting, it just can get real nasty. Like, ew, who the fuck wants to smell pennies? Yeah. Ugh. It does get crazy in there. All right. All right. Sorry, guys. We got a little nasty there. I'm okay. a nasty girl. girl nasty. nasty girl. Hey, I love doing that dance. Y'all be in the random, like, I was in the parking garage jumping and clapping. And the <laughs> I was like, Ugh. I love, I love when you be in the car by yourself so you can do whatever you want. And he was so doing funny. the hips. Yeah. I love that shit. It was so um, funny. <laughs> but yes, uh, do you guys, you want to go ahead and move on? Yeah, we could do, um, you want to do the sex talk? Dude, I feel like there was a lot of sex talk. You got a sex question? Well, it just says, do you then, have sex? Um, have you had the sex talk with your parents? Oh, yeah. Do you have a sex talk with your parents? Mm. I feel like, honestly, we really didn't have one besides use a condom, blah, blah, blah. I was very uncomfortable. I, could, I knew my mom was super uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable. It was really awkward. That was about it. And then I remember my cousins were like, do you have the birds and the bees talk? I'm like, what the fuck is the birds and the bees? I did not know what that meant, bro, because they never told me what it was. It took like a couple of years later. 
I, I didn't like know what the school. birds and bees was. I'm not going to lie. I was like, I'm still I was like, what does that mean? I didn't know what that meant either because my mom's very... We, 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 get, get to the, the point. Get to the damn point. <laughs> yeah. She got to the point, got the birth control just in case. She was like, because I know she kind of was uncomfortable at first. But she was like, yeah. we're going to do the birth control just in case. See, that's smart. I feel like I'm it's, just, you know, being open and realistic about your child. My parents were not realistic at all. They were like, don't do it. Yeah. But I'm an open book. Like the way that I talk on here is the way that I talk with my mom. That's the way I talk yeah. with my family. So they already knew if I was going to be fucking like, mm. she got a big ass mouth. She probably going to say something. <laughs> she going to slip up. Yeah. But no, she didn't know my first. I don't think. Maybe she did. I didn't tell her. But uh, she definitely, already, you know, the testing, make sure I was already there. Um, I really don't remember having a condom talk with her. I will say that. Chioko, you need to get better at that. I don't remember that one. I don't remember the condom one. Mm. I just knew that from the next. I still don't know how to put a condom on. You know how to put a condom on? Yeah. I don't know how. Light it on down. Mm-hmm. Like looks like a little. Yeah, and I was even happy because Mandy said she don't, and she be doing whole activity. So I was so thankful. I said, okay, great. That's your job. And I'm guys. not saying this like I'm I'm perfect. Like I've definitely had mm-hmm. sex with no condoms. But the the reason I now is because who got time to pay for Plan Bs and abortions, bro? That's oh no, not we definitely. Cheap. I'm pro condom. I was saying, do you know how to put one on? No, just because no, no. you should be prepared. But I'm yeah. saying, no, wear the condom. Yeah, I was clarifying because I feel like oh. I always talk about wearing condoms, and I'm like, oh, I'm not perfect. I like, you know, there's been times where I have not worn the condom. But no, 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 no. It's okay. Wear the condom. Yeah, definitely wear the condom. Okay, we are pro condoms. We, we want to keep condoms normalizing this shit. I think they just like, said like literally down I, your I, I, I have not had sex in a long time, but I just heard Mandy in the podcast, and she said. The Magnum skin. Don't oh, use yeah. lamb skin. I, I bookmarked a thread that was talking about the best condoms. They said don't use lamb skin because you can actually still catch a STD. You can still catch the STD with the lamb skin because it has holes in it. Oh. Um, so it's really not good. Wow. That's, I think, for if you're with your partner, mm-hmm. basically you use those. But if you are doing, you know, other partners or whatever, you don't use the lamb skin. They're not yeah, I'm good. not well researched on the lamb skin. I just heard about it lie. on the pod. So, and they were talking about it. So I've heard they they are there, but I don't know. Um, yeah, because it already has like some like holes. It's supposed to feel like skin or whatever. It's mm-hmm. like breathable. It's like very thin. I haven't seen one, but it was meant for people that just basically are being protected in committed relationships. So, but you can still catch a transmitted disease. So make sure y'all are wearing. That makes condoms. sense if there's fucking breathable holes in, in it. there. Exactly. So yeah, make sure if you multiple partners, you just use a regular condom. I do. We are pro condoms over here. Yeah. Use them, please. I'm tired of seeing, like, over time, it was like, I want to be a, I want to be a Twinkie. I want to be, a, no, 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 no. A Twinkie? No. Yeah. What's that? Like, fill me up like a Twinkie, like some nigga nuts in you. Please don't nut in me. I don't want you to nut in me. That's what I'm saying. You throw off your pH, so much shit, you know? And yeah, have condoms too, because you don't want, I've been seeing so many horror stories about girls saying that niggas throw off their pH balance. Yeah. Please, please, please don't I do that. I thought I was fucking with a nigga that was doing that for a minute. I literally, I would kept getting, um, what are they called? Uh, UTIs, and I was like, mm-hmm. "What the fuck?" And it's him. And it was it's him. Men. A yeah. lot of men are and they don't women. fucking go to the doctor to go they never get, get it treated. Yeah. They just keep fucking. I'm like, that's literally one of my standards. Before I sleep with a man, you have to get tested before we sleep together. I just can't do it. I'm yeah. I'm not I even don't think they sex, can catch still. UTIs on men though. Like, well, no, I'm not even saying that. I'm talking oh, about just in general. general. Oh yeah, get, definitely. Get it checked. Definitely, definitely. Honestly, definitely. go get them checked. But yes, I think honestly that was a really good episode, ladies. I think that. Yeah, I think that w- oh, how long have we been on? Damn. Okay. Yeah. We are gonna uh wrap it up then. Sorry, we're just keeping this a pro ho, you know, safe sex episode. Cause we love the hoes. All right, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave us a um, review. Yeah, and shout out to our people, Shadow. Shout out to our sponsor, Shadow. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. God damn. <laughs>